Checking, there we go. Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovic, and today we are doing a 5,000 mile review. I got 5,300 miles on this Tacoma now, and I have been using it primarily for hunting. Okay, this thing has been in the woods ev like this every single second. And we're going to take a minute and we're going to talk about what I do, what I don't like, that kind of stuff. And uh, here it is right here. It is a 2022 gray, ma magnetic gray, or whatever they call it, magnetic gray. Uh, Tacoma TRD off-road uh, so you do have the uh, rear locker you do have the uh, multi-terrain select and you do have the crawl control and uh, I did do some mods to it which I will show you here uh, I also will link the video where I show all this stuff to you but I did put on you can see them under there I put on skid plates underneath this dude uh, and they're full skid plates they go all the way to the back back there uh, cover the transmission the y pipe crossover everything i love these and what's nice is i've already done a 5,000 mile oil change on this last week and i can actually access uh the oil filter without taking the skid plate off see if you can see it i can go in right through there and pull that oil filter out uh right there sweet and easy so it's very simple process so i don't even have to remove that um and uh i also have fluid fi fluid filmed this thing when I first got it, so you're seeing a lot of that stuff on there. Uh, when I say with that oil change, that oil filter, keep in mind that on a Tacoma, when you change that oil filter there, where is it, can you see it there? That black thing right in the middle. When you change that, even with the kit and a little nozzle, oil is gonna come down everywhere. I kinda don't mind that, you know I mean? I put a drip pan under there, but it's kinda nice, it coats, that oil coats the inside of that skid plate for me very well and all that stuff. So I'm not really complaining about that, but it is something to keep in mind. Um, but the oil change was pretty easy and that is uh, the truck right there. I do have the five inch tube steps from Toyota. They came on it. Now I would not have got them except for when I got this, there was no option. It was an allocated truck, not a special order. So they were coming with the tube steps already and there was nothing I could do about them. I was going to take them off. I love them. I love them. Why? They protect me from rocks. Okay, I put Goodyear Ultra Terrain tires. These are Goodyear Ultra Terrains. They're a 265, 75, 16. So they're one inch bigger than stock. Same width, but this aggressive lug pattern on here, which by the way, 5,000 miles when I did, I did just take it in to have it rotated yesterday. Um, and they checked them for me. And these are at 15, 30 seconds. Now keep in mind, it was 18, 30 seconds, brand new. 15, 30 seconds there. And 16, 30 seconds here on the back. So these are still at, with 5,000 miles on them. They're you got more, still have more tread on them now than you get on like a KO2 or anything like that. So or a Falcon, anything of that nature. So uh, uh, we'll see how they hold up. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. 5,000 miles and uh, uh, barely showing any wear on them. So I'm, I'm and they did one rotation. So I'm impressed there. But these tires throw a lot of rocks. Mud flaps help tremendously. These are the Rec Gen. Right there, rec gen floor mat or uh, mud guards. I put them on the front. I love them. However, you still do get some rocks that fling up. The underside of this, I'll try and tip you and show you here if you can see it. I don't know if I can see while you're seeing it, but underneath here, man, the rock chips that hit this thing is just insane. When I pull out of here, uh, see, I'm out here in the woods and I'm on gravel roads like you're seeing here, this kind of stuff, and these rocks get stuck in those treads, and as soon as I hit the highway, ting, 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 you can hear them. Uh, I even put a thing on my Instagram one time, if you follow me on Instagram, where I actually had the audio, and you could hear them when I pulled out on the highway, bing, 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 hitting all those rocks, hitting those side steps. I do not use them to get in and out. You can see. I mean, I'm, I don't, there's no footprints on them. I don't step on them. You don't need them. It's very easy to just go right past it, just like this. So it's not like you need to use them, but I do like the fact that they are a protection for my rockers of my truck uh, from the stones. Again, keep in mind this vehicle is off-road 99% of its life, period. It, well, it's going to... 99% of my recreational use of this vehicle is off-road. Other, the majority of it actually is highway miles as far as miles when I'm driving back and forth down state for work. But uh, but when I'm not working, this thing is off-road all the time. And uh, like I said, 5,000 miles of pure almost off-road nonstop since I've been down here in Georgia. Um, tires are incredible they're very quiet on the road they work fantastic in the mud i've had this thing i've had to use the uh rear diff 
lock. I've had to use the multi-terrain select and I also use crawl control one time. Uh, there's a place here where their roads are pure uh, soup, basically like peanut butter soup mud. And uh, this thing goes through it like a champ. It, it's incredible what this thing is capable of. I've never owned a vehicle as capable off-road as what this one is. So that's been fantastic. Um, I did put LED headlights in here for the high beams. I like the combination a lot. Since you have projectors for the low beams, they work perfect anyway for low beams. And then I put a high beam bulb in there, wherever you can see it. Can you see it in there? That is an LED high beam bulb that is in there. I'll put a link down below for you. Uh, it's a perfect combination. You know, between the LED fog lights that come on it, the regular um, low beams with the projectors, perfect for that. And then when I get out past street lights and cars, not on the back roads, the LED high beams, phenomenal. They work great. Um, the uh, the cruise assist on this thing, which I think is somewhere behind this thing. I think that's where all this is back in there. But uh, I like it. It does a really good job um, as far as uh, monitoring your distance between the cars in front of you and stuff like that. And you can adjust it. So you set your cruise and you're going down the road. And then if the car is set on 75 and the car in front of you is only going 70, when it gets up to it, it slows your car down. Um, so that you keep a certain distance from it. I really like that feature. It is definitely a nice thing um, That's really all I've used on the fancy stuff there uh, The tailgate this this is one complaint. I got I mean come on it is 2022 and I still got to deal with a cap here for fuel I mean, this is stupid and then you don't let it hang a lot of people do you could but it's got this little squiggly in here So you can put it right there like that, but this is stupid that I'm still using a screw cap um, I mean every Ford Chevy Chrysler uh, every vehicle Jeep we've owned we've never had to deal with that that's just straight up stupid but it is there it is an option for you how it's going to be i do really like the rear slider that is back there sorry i got this stuff out so i can show you inside uh, i do like the rear slider and it being power so i can just open it with the button and uh, the dogs love it too they can jump they just kind of stand up on the back seat and poke their heads kind of through there love love the uh rear slider on there it's definitely a nice feature i did put the uh, truck sport by uh truck hero the truck sport Truxedo uh, cover on this thing. Very impressed with this. I showed it to you in the install video. Velcro on the sides, but it is, you can't really get into this, okay? There's no way to get into it. Even if you were to pull these open, you can't even get your hand in there. You can't get into this at all. It does have both supports all the way across that are flush, um, and it's an awesome system here. So when I open this, okay, you look in there, and that is the, the tailgate or the tonneau cover. You know, you got your cross beams but phenomenal. God, I love it. It's just incredible, and it folds up instantly. I pull this little lever right here, pop this one, and that one, and this thing hits, roll it right up to the front, and then it locks up on those little tabs up there and stays there. I love the tonneau cover. I put the bed mat in, too. This is a Tacoma Toyota Tacoma bed mat in there. You can see I do get a little dust in here. Now, keep in mind, I'm on a lot of back roads, okay? So you do get some dust in here, uh, but every, every other than that, it's pretty, pretty smooth sailing here. Um, back here, I did add two more of these in the front corners. Uh, you may or may not see them, and I'm not climbing in there, but they are right up there in the very front corners. There's one there, and there's one behind the cooler over there. So I do have those in there, so I have four tie-down points. And then these are my Molly panels, which, again, I showed you in that other one. They are holding perfectly. I've not had to adjust or move anything on here. Shovel over there, big four inch toe strap, D rings. Uh, I got my uh, my saw over here, more toe straps, my vi air pump, and a couple more D rings. But I've not had to make any adjustments on any of this stuff, it's all staying solid. You do got this here uh, for your outlet, and in here, I got a bunch of tie straps and ratchet straps in there. Fill that up full. I have my traction boards there and I have them held together with a shower rod. Believe it or not, it has worked, that tensioner shower rod, it has worked fantastic. Um, only one time in 5,000 miles have I had to adjust it where I could hear it rattling a little bit. And that was after going through some pretty serious rocks and creek crossings, uh, bouncing it around back here. So I had to actually, and all I did was take that cooler, set the cooler right here, and I grabbed this pack and I smashed it against there and it pushed it on one side and I did it on the other side and that's it. Uh, so that works, that little system back there works absolutely perfect. Um, so that's basically the back end back here, but it is a, I, I'm very impressed. So much room and so much things I can do with it. I did install the power tailgate lock from Toyota. So when I hit my key fob, it does lock the tailgate as well too. 
I have a toe strap for a shackle. I can run a harder soft shackle on there and I put that on there. Now when it's pressure washing season and work time, this will actually be replaced with a trailer hitch, but for out here in the woods, uh, I got a recovery point on there, which is really nice to have. Um, the inside of this thing, like I said, incredible. It, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. It's very comfortable. It is a truck. It is dirty. So it's going to be there. It's Tacoma floor mats that came with it. The seal covers right here that came with it. And, uh, I mean, it works fantastic. You can see 52, 5, 5,200 miles on there. And uh, very impressed with everything in here. There's your... Uh, your multi-terrain select and your rear diff lock and your crawl control and everything right there. Uh, but I do love the setup. I love the cup holders. You got two here, two there, and two back there. So you got a lot of cup holders. I did put this little neoprene pad on here because the dogs are jumping back and forth all the time. And it's a nice place to rest my arm on. It's actually very cushy. I like it. It's like seven bucks. I'll put links to it below, but it is very easy, uh, very simple to do. But inside, like I said, very impressed. You do have the power adjustable seats. Uh, I got nothing bad to say there. I love everything about the inside of this. The back end, though, is where it shines back here. Uh, the storage in this thing is insane. I mean, obviously, lots of storage in your doors. Um, you do not have a mat pocket on this side, but you do over there. But behind here, not only do I have this stuff under here, which folds up this way. Again, dirty. Okay, it's part of the game. Um, but you got these two compartments, which I got so much gear in. It's not even funny. Uh, oil filter wrench right there. Um, but I got so much gear all the way across this whole thing. I'm probably not going to lift that side. Um, maybe I will if I get over there. We'll see. But a um, lot and lots of gear here. And then you do have fold flat technology. You can lift the tail or the headrest, pop these off, drop this seat down, and it will drop down between there. And you have this nice hard surface on here, and these fold flat for you. Back here, I got a couple of towels filling that space and my tools. That's my whole tool kit. So I have my tool kit. And again, I've I've made videos on all this stuff on how to set all these up, make your tool kits, do all your stuff. Um, and, uh, I have both seat belts jammed down here because I usually don't have people in the back, but they're, you know, this one here would come up and out and can hide right into that center slot if you wanted it to. Me personally, I'm just leaving them back there right now so they're out of the way. But that is that side. Um, but yeah, the capabilities of this truck are just, they're, they're unbelievable. I, I, I just can't say enough how much I love, uh, what this truck is capable of. Um, one complaint. When you're backing up, you do get a little bit of glare from these LED lights. Not a ton, but a little bit on your backup camera. Um, so if it's kind of like foggy out, which we get a lot of humid mornings here, it makes it a little tricky to see that camera. Again, not a huge deal. Um, on this side here, same thing. Storage here on the sides. Uh, let me throw some of this stuff down here. Tripod. Again, I'm out. You can see all the sand. We just had the dogs down at the ocean yesterday. And we were walking them on the ocean, so there's a lot of sand in here um, but when i flip this one up to same kind of deal here i have another storage compartment under here it's got the jack in there too but you can see i got storage stuff all the way across here tire repair kit uh, another mini tripod some zip tie i got all kinds of stuff in here love that setup and then behind this one it also does the same exact thing back here and you can see i have this is where i have my expensive stuff recovery wise i have my tack life that's a jump charger there i have two um a uh they're tree savers but i use them basically more as a as a bridle uh across toe points if i need to and then i have my uh snatch recovery snatch strap here this is an arb this is an actual dedicated uh stretchy snatch recovery strap i love this thing um but it you know being 65 bucks for that i'm not leaving it in the bed of the truck and i have a couple soft shackles right there too if i need them so all this stuff fits right back there too out of the way and simple and easy there it is i mean i love the amount of storage room you have in here which is just golden so this is where i just kind of throw all my spare stuff here and uh works out perfect like i said i got nothing to uh complain about this truck everything about it is absolutely perfect um one small complaint is the fact that it does still use a hood prop rod that's kind of stupid again like the gas tank i mean we have a hood prop rod uh 2022 no no hydraulic struts i know i could change them but it comes with a prop rod and the prop rod does not get that hood very high uh that's kind of stupid in my opinion um but other than that uh like i said i, I love the truck I, oh i also added these mirrors in again and the main reason i did that is because of the fact that i'm towing i will be towing my power washing trailer with this thing so having that trailer and having to back down people's driveways and things like that i did add these little side mirrors and i love them 
uh, you can see them right there. These little flexible, you can see they're mounted on there. Uh, these little side mirrors, these things are awesome. Not only are they great for the trailer and for blind spot, but also with the shape of them, I can see my tires too. So if I have to back out of some nasty spots uh, or I have to avoid uh, backing through some trenches from other tires, it's easy to see uh, my tires in those and be able to see where I'm driving at so that it does not become an issue for me. Um, so, I mean, very impressive. I put one on this side as well. See, I'll put links to these down below, but you can see it right there. Uh, but they work perfect. I also added this multi-charging port thing because you do have a USB right here. There's your rear for your rear uh, window. But I added this uh, four charge hub. Got it from Amazon. Again, I'll put a link down there. But that's really nice because I got all those charging. And then this is actually, that cord goes down here to one of my, this is a battery pack, again, from Amazon. And I can plug a bunch of stuff into that. And that way, when my car is turned off, if they're plugged into that battery pack, they still charge even when my, my car is off. So for me as a photographer, like with some of those cords I got on there for my, my wedding stuff, I can let them charge in the car even when the vehicle is off. And then when I turn the vehicle on, this cord here charges that battery charger. So it's always working and running. You also have USB port in a glove box and stuff too. Um, that's all standard spec stuff, but, uh, but I, I love the truck. Just, I love it. So simple, so easy. Um, I love how the uh, controls on it for the heat and all that kind of stuff are simple knobs and buttons. None of this stupid touchscreen stuff. That drives me nuts. Uh, you know, they don't want us to text and drive because you could cause an accident by being distracted. Yet, like on my daughter's compass, everything you want to change is like six menus deep inside of this touchscreen stuff. I can't stand that. On this, all of that controls are simple right there. Radio, knobs and buttons, real easy. It is touchscreen, but you got knobs and buttons for everything you really want. And all my controls right there, sweet and easy. And uh, I just can't say enough good things about it. Love this truck. I, I love it. It screams quality. It feels quality. Everything is super tight. Um, I'm happy. God, I'm happy. Very, very impressed. Very happy. So that is my 5,000 mile review of this thing. And it's been incredible. We will touch base as it gets some more miles on it. But right now, oh, fuel mileage. Sorry. Should mention a fuel mileage on there. Um, when I first got it, I was a little bummed even on the highway because I was running one straight stretch of road to and from a couple hunting areas. It was one road all the way, one hour drive each way, but it was a lot of hills. I was getting like 17 and a half, 18 miles to a gallon on there doing 70, 75. Um, when we took it the other day, we went to all the way up to Hilton Head, a lot more flat terrain. We were getting closer to 20, 21. So um, in, in the way their system is in there, unlike Jeep and Dodge and Ford and Ram and all that stuff where you have like, it calculates your uh, miles per gallon over a period of, how, until you reset it, it keeps the average. This doesn't do that. It gives you a one minute, a 10 minute, a 15 minute, and a tank average. That's the only thing it gives you. So it's really hard to get an overall you know, uh, thing of what it is. And as soon as you turn the key off or you turn the car off, it erases all that stuff except for the tank average. Tank average changes every time you fill up. So um, it is kind of hard to calculate. But watching my minute by minute for 15 minutes displays as I'm running down the road, on the highway doing 70 miles an hour, I'm getting about 20, or I'm sorry, about 21. If I'm doing uh, if I'm doing 75, I'm down to about 19 and a half and 20. So that's kind of where I'm at on there. Around town's irrelevant because my around town here has got a lot of hills. Um, so that basically sums it up for you, um, but love it. Straight up love it. I'm very happy I bought it. Very happy with the capabilities. Very happy with every single thing about it. So hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be links down below for you for all of this stuff on here. Uh, also link down below for the Save Thousands course if you're interested. It'll teach you how to save a lot of money on your next truck or boat or camper or whatever it is you're buying. So uh, definitely check it out. And uh, there you go. Oh, for you guys that uh, shoot longbows like I do. 64 inch longbow people wonder how they fit in here if it fits in here pretty good um mine what i do i just take mine like this and again 64 inch straight limb longbow and i just said you got lots of room you can see i got tons i mean you could fit an 80 inch bow in here without a problem um but that's what i do i got a towel down there and i just let it sit right there rest on the seat and against there and that's it and i take my pack and i throw my pack right here on the seat this is my spare parts bin that has a bag that's got all my extra batteries and things like that I need. The shirt I was just wearing is going right here. And then my snake boots, these got to be washed, so they're going here because I'm going to wash those tonight. But uh, snake boots fit 
right there in the back seat just like that that's how i set her up for hunting so all right thanks for watching talk to you later